And we're back to die. X-Men, welcome to die. You don't really put enough oomph into it. You gotta do it more like, Welcome to die! No, 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 you gotta go, Welcome to die! You gotta, you gotta... Come, just... X-Chicken. Ah, ha, ha, ha. See. You, you really, you can't, you can't, I just... I really would love to know who, who came up with those lines. It was the 90s. Yeah, but that's, like, not even comic book bad. That's just... Just bad I'm translation. I'm thinking bad translation might have been involved there somewhere. Yeah, that that would be bad translation. You must save Kitty from the cave. That's the thing that gets me. It's like, these people who are speaking English sound like actual English speakers. So you'd think that they would tell them, like, this doesn't sound right at all. They don't care. <laughs> well, no, it has no real impact on their paycheck, I would imagine. Yeah. See, also, uh, all of those in Am American voice actors in Resident Evil that can't act. Oh, dear God. Well, really, a good chunk of the stuff that Capcom's put out, you know, back in that time. I mean, Mega Man 8 and Mega Man X4. Yeah, they all kind of have the same problem as then. I don't think it's that the people couldn't act, it's just that the Japanese guys are like, yeah, this one's probably some fun. My fate is sealed, I have no choice. Something, something, bass. Oh. Anyway. Um, we are not enemies! Yeah, not bad. <laughs> your, your mouse pointer's on the screen against strike. Uh, I need to, like, <laughs> find the setting to turn that off. That would save, that would solve all the problems. Yes, there was a Fatal Fury anime. There were two of them, in fact. There was three. Oh, there were three of them? Okay. Yep, there is, there is one, two, and then the motion picture, because the other two don't count. Well, if it isn't my pal, okay. I'm surprised you made it the motion picture was apparently supposed to be like an Art of Fighting crossover, and then they were just like, nah. Let's have Probably because Art of Fighting bombed so bad. Lost the movie where everybody gets to see the nice boobies from. That sounded like somebody other than the person that was playing Sonic up until this point. That, that was the, uh, a really bad take. It's funny, the Fatal Fury, the motion picture, has kind of a special place in my heart. Because uh. I, I rented it at... Uh, one of Jake's birthday parties, and what's funny is right next to it was the uh, the Go Go 13 movie. Hmm. Yeah, Alex, I'm gonna need you to make me a title card for this one. This last episode, because this is the boss fight right here. Oh, you want you want a uh, you got a final boss one? Yeah, we're gonna need a final boss. Oh boy, more egg. Oh here. God, damn it! First try. Oh man. Uh, this <laughs> fucking boss is a nightmare. Yes, it the is. The hit detection trying to attack it is so messed up. Yep. I don't think I've ever been that bad. Oh, 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 okay. Get a load of this. Yes, there was in fact a character named Sulu. See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Ah! <sighs> Get a load of this. I believe the guy who voiced the main villain of the movie was the same guy who voiced uh, Rio and Ronan Warriors. That's how I remember him. See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Why do you give me these big glowing blocks for me to jump on? You're challenging me to hit you, but then you actually make it possible for me to do that. Doesn't seem like a good idea. Well, the Fatal Fury anime is how uh, Nobuyuki Hiyama got uh, his job as Joe Higashi. Huh. They liked his performance so much that they just dropped the guy who was voiced him. That's, that's cold. And then in the turn of irony, he's not voicing Joe in King of Fighters 14. Huh. Maybe he just finally got sick of it or he was too busy. Maybe. Maybe they just didn't pay him enough. 
Well, it's not like Nobuyuki Hiyama doesn't have, like, anything lined up for him. What else does he do? See if you can make it through here. <laughs> He's basically in, like, every anime I've ever seen. Oh, okay. Uh, yep, more lasers. And he's almost always a shoe in for uh, a Super Robot Wars game. Oh. I can't believe this! Yes, you can. I don't believe this. And now he's destroying the other set of platforms. Because reasons. It's no use. Give up. Ah. One more hit. I can, uh... Like, I haven't played a Super Robot Wars game since the... The one... One of the two we actually got. On the GBA, I believe. Ah, yes. Look out! I think it was the first OG game. And the second one that we got. Yeah. So we'll have to see, we'll have to see how that uh, PS4 one hey, works out. Yes, R.I.P. Dimbris Dimbristo. I was I was talking on the uh, in the last stream just how much you know he was awesome and he just sucks that he died. Lost him. <laughs> Nobody's been able to bring. Quite the same level of gravitas. I'm not saying the guy that does him now is bad, but like Pollock? yeah, Pollock is not bad, but I still I really miss Dean Bristow. What what did what did you say, Sonic? I can't hear you. What's Sonic. that, Tails? Bro to bro, what's the deal between you and Amy? They're, they're talking. We can't hear them, but they're talking. Amy's like the original overly attached girlfriend. Yep. Then they're talking. What are they talking about? We'll never know. Amy is like the entirety of uh, that joke ending in Second Boys Blue Game. Oh god. Sonic the Hedgehog. And we got a scroll. God, those expressions when they're talking. Yes. When, when you don't have any sound, that makes it even worse. Sonic, go, no, that's a cliff. I like this version of Sonic theme better than the one that was in Sonic Adventure 2. More soulful. That, the other one was like Ska, and I just don't think it works. I think it was, uh, Game MP3's put up a a set of CDs the other day for, uh... How do you pronounce his name? John Sano? John S I think June it's Senway? June Senway, yeah. Yeah. Of his, uh, earlier works, and I'm just like, this all sounds like butt rock, so <laughs> definitely him. <laughs> that's, that's well, yeah. pretty much what he does. Him and, uh... Johnny Joelli? Yeah. Fresh, Johnny Joelli. Fresh 40. Yeah, it's pretty much all butt rock. Yep. I mean, you know, Johnny Joelli was a freaking hair metal lead singer, so... <laughs> yeah. I just think it's funny, like, they had, like, some racing game somewhere, and they, like, recorded, like, an entire album of it, and I'm pretty sure nobody ever heard it, and then they put out an album separately, and it's like, where did all this come from? And you can tell that it's all very clearly intended to be uh, racing music. Game over game! Apparently, Crush 40 goes around, like, doing covers of songs from Johnny Joelli's other band, Hardline. That's okay. I'm sure they do a good job. I bet they do. I, I've never been able to, like, find a recording of any of this. But... Ah. And I, I love Crush 40 unironically. They're just... There's just something to them. I like that kind of, uh music in the first place. So. What rock? I don't like that it's 
called that? <laughs> Turbo of Endearment. Yeah. It's not like I don't like it, you know. Because, I mean, I was also thinking about, um... You ever... Either of you ever played Bloody Roar? Yes. Bloody Roar. That was a game with some good butt rock in it. This... And it... Speaking of things we're never gonna fucking get again. Oh, my God. Well, I don't even know who owns the rights to that. Oh, wait. Doesn't... Didn't Konami buy out Hudson? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're never seeing that again. Yeah, we're never seeing that one again. Oh, yeah, we will. Uh, Pachinko slot. <laughs> God, I hope not. It's uh, the lever! Uh, uh. But I guess it's better than a commercial for the uh, the new Ford Focus or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they? Was That was Sonic that did that, wasn't it? It was, uh, it was Metal Gear. Oh, Sonic was in a progressive commercial. That's what it was. Jesus Christ, man! That uh, that that Ford Focus or whatever commercial is so so bad. Mm. Like I it's, it's, dare not say that. <coughs> Continue your thought, Alex. It's pretty clear that uh, David Hayter and Paul Hayter are just like, oh yeah, we're gonna. Between yep. two pieces of bread, that's where this hand's going. <laughs> okay. Then there was, um... Oh, what was it, um... Oh. I completely lost my train of thought. I'm sorry, I was too busy jamming. I actually think I'm going to end this episode here and then start the next one on, on Big. Probably good. Yeah, this one's just going to be a little shorter, that's all. Yeah, Bloody Roar definitely had some good music, though. Yep. Soundtrack's great, but, like, it sure could use a f another repetition or two, so... Yep. <laughs> Alright. So, next episode... Pain. In the form of a giant cat with a fishing pole. Get ready to fish. Oh yeah. Fish like you've never fished before. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs>